and we'll grab the strap um, if you have one. If you don't have one, there is a way to do it without the strap, okay? Um, and if you're not wanting to lay on your back today for any reason, you can do most of this seated, um, just sitting up on a block or something. It's the same movements, you would just be seated. It would feel a little bit different. So you can start with your knees bent and your feet on the floor. We'll pick up the right foot and take the um, strap around the ball of the right foot and just hold um, the edges of the strap in each hand. <laughs> uh, you can keep your left foot bent or you can straighten it if you want. Uh, start with the knee bent, press the heel up to the sky and draw the toes down. So I'm hoping that you're feeling your calf. And think of just pressing up with the heel until you feel that nice stretch there. You can play a little bit with pulling down on the right edge of the strap and then the left edge of the strap. Sometimes you'll just get different sensations working there. And then we can work a little bit more to the hamstring. So this might look really similar, but the intention is a bit different. Your leg might be a little bit straighter and rather than pulling down on the strap, you're pulling a little bit more towards your face. So you might still feel your calf, but you're gonna probably feel the stretch move a little bit higher into the back of the leg. And um, you can do this, of course, holding the back of your leg if you don't have a strap. Okay, and then hold both ends of the strap with your right hand. I'm going to place my left hand on uh, the top of my left thigh just for stability. And I'm going to carefully, slowly open my right leg to the right. My elbows coming to the floor, yours doesn't necessarily have to, but I find I like that little bit of extra support with the elbow on the floor. And I'm letting the leg release down, and I'm also drawing it a little bit towards my face. I'm keeping the foot flexed. And just nice deep breaths into the belly here. Nice, let's bring the foot back up through center as you're ready. Take the ends of the strap in the left hand and then take the right thumb into the hip crease of the right thigh. And you wanna think of pinning the hip down and rolling it slightly down away from your face. So you might also externally rotate slightly so the toes turn a little bit to the right and you can kind of see your inner heel. And then you can experiment with bringing the leg across your body to the left. So it doesn't have to go very far. Okay? I find this one is like, whoa, <laughs> it just really feel a lot there. Um, keep the foot really nice and active and the leg is moving to the left and maybe slightly towards your face, depending on how that's feeling for you. And just try to keep breathing. I know this one can be a little bit intense. And for any of this, you can just be holding the thigh. If you don't have a prop to hold the foot, it's much nicer if you do have something to hold the foot, but it is possible to do it holding the thigh with your hands. Okay, and then um, from here, we can take it into the twist. So you can allow that right hip to come off the floor, let the foot come all the way off to the left and open your right arm to the right. I don't always like this one. I have long legs, they're kind of heavy. Um, and sometimes it doesn't feel good in my back. So I'm gonna bend my knee, see how that feels for me. And I might even stack my two knees on top of each other for a little bit more of a twist that feels a little more stable for me. So you're welcome to do that too, if you feel the same way. Just letting your right shoulder be nice and heavy and relaxed. And for this one, if you're pregnant, if you're feeling like you need a little bit more space, you can always just move your knees a bit farther away from your belly so that you don't feel too compressed. It's not really a super deep twist, but stay within your comfort zone. Okay, and then if you've still got the foot with your hands, we're gonna 
pull that foot back up through center. If you've got your knees there, you can do one knee at a time. And then release the strap, hug your knees into your chest and rock a little bit from side to side. And then place your feet on the floor and just take a moment to notice anything that you feel. For me, this is obviously hips, but my lower back always feels better when I do this little sequence as well with the strap. It just kind of opens that zone up. And then when you're ready, let's come to the other side. So taking the strap around the ball of the left foot, right foot on the ground or straight, start with the knee pretty bent and think of pulling down on the strap as you push up with the heel. So we're trying to get the calf. And again, you can do those little micro adjustments holding, um, pulling the um, left edge of the strap down a little bit more and then right edge. It's just gonna be a little bit interesting when you explore that a bit. And then we'll ease up on that a little bit and just uh, shift to a little bit more of a hamstring stretch. So the leg might be a little bit straighter, it might not be. And the intention here is more bringing the foot towards the face rather than straight down. Um, so again, it might feel quite similar, but hopefully you're gonna feel just the back of your leg a little bit more. This brings up a little vibrating for some people. If you're kind of quivering, that's normal. <sighs> okay. And then we'll hold the strap in the left hand. Right palm can come onto the top of the thigh if the knee is not bent. And then we'll carefully bring the leg over to the left. Again, the elbow can come down, depends on uh, how flexible uh, you are here. Your elbow might not come down, that's totally okay. Um, and the foot is active and we're moving it just slightly up towards the face and keeping the right leg nice and grounded. Nice deep breaths. And then we'll bring the leg gently back up through center. Hold the strap ends with the right hand. Take the left thumb into the outer hip crease. And you wanna pin the hip down and roll the thigh a little bit away. Some of you might already be feeling something here. I am on this side. Um, and then we're gonna to start to move the leg a little off to the right. So it doesn't have to be far. My goodness, for me, this side is definitely tighter. So just slightly across, you'll probably get some juice there. And you can do that slight external rotation as well, um, which is part of what you're doing when you're rolling that hip away from your face. Nice. Okay, and then if you'd like, we can come into the twist here. So you can allow the hip to come off the ground let the foot come all the way towards the floor. It doesn't have to touch. And again, if you're like me and you just feel a bit like, ooh, that's a bit much, you can bend the knee or have the two knees stacked and just take a bit of a simpler twist. That's fine. Letting the left shoulder soften towards the earth.
and then we'll gently gather back through center as you're ready. So again, one knee at a time, if you have a knees bent, or you can use the strap to help yourself come back through. Release the strap, draw your knees into your chest and rock a little bit from side to side. And then place your feet on the floor and just take a moment to just acknowledge anything that might feel different for you here. 